I've had the opportunity to work with, with dozens of companies over the last couple of years and, and hundreds over my career. And I would state that what we're seeing as, as one of the key trends right now is around um, hydrocarbon value chain optimization. There's been such so many market dynamics and changes over the past 12 to 18 months, uh, you know, with the expansion of the shift of supply and demand, um, you know, moving into new markets uh, for new customer bases, and, and the opportunity as well as expanding new products and solutions, especially in the downstream space. We really see a lot of companies out there striving to, to drive more value out of their current supply chain with their hydrocarbon uh, acquisitions, sales, inventory, and movement uh, throughout the entire organization. And I think that really boils down to when I have these conversations is around transparency in a more real-time basis of that inventory. And that's the owned in transit as well as planned hydrocarbons and also the cost visibility. So you can make the appropriate trade-off decisions to drive more improved margin in the organization and more collaboration and alignment across the value chain throughout the organization as well. We've seen opportunities in the past to where the traditional value chain of kind of having siloed business processes does not allow the integrated collaboration needed between the organizations like finance, trading, risk management, scheduling to the refinery execution and refining of the products to ultimate sales and ensuring that you can drive the optimized margin as part of that integrated communications and, and value chain. Essentially following that, that digital thread of the molecule from you know, the wellhead all the way out to the customer gas tank. And that truly is a desire where companies are trying to improve um, over the last, especially 12 to 18 months.